This is breaking news with Sky Team 11, Baltimore's only news helicopter. And we're following this breaking news right now on the Beltway. Uh, Sky Team 11 and Captain Roy Taylor are live over a very slow moving speed uh, police chase there. Roy, what's going on? Well, this pickup truck that you see in the front ended up crashing into several vehicles around Sparrows Point Road and the Beltway area. Uh, police tried to uh, stop the vehicle. The vehicle ended up taking off. And it seems to be the individual that's operating the vehicle is somewhat deranged. The right front tire is totally flat. Uh, the whole front right side of the vehicle is damaged. County police have pretty much blocked off the outer loop of the Beltway from North Point Boulevard, working away towards, um, uh, let's see here. I'll give you a cross street here uh, that uh, they're following right now, up towards Beechwood Road. Uh, now, it looks like the vehicle has come to a stop, but every time the officers try to take and walk up to it, uh, she ends up taking off again. Now, she's been giving uh, explicit uh, gestures to the police, but uh, as you can see now, just totally, you know, picking up speed here. Uh, looks like she's going to try and ram this one police car that's in front of her. You know, they're just trying to take and protect the area and any other occupants that might be inside it. But like I said, there's considerable damage that has been done to this uh, pickup truck from the initial crash. Now the county police are in a follow mode right now. They're not trying to aggressively uh, do any type of pit maneuver or blocking it in. They're just trying to monitor her uh, operation of the vehicle and try and get this to a successful uh, conclusion. Hopefully the vehicle will eventually, you know, be so disabled from all the damage that it's got. You can see smoke coming from the right front wheel as we come up here on Beechwood Road, getting ready to go underneath the overpass here. There's one county unit that's in front, and there's about four or five that are in the rear, and then you have about four more units that are on the beltway that have stopped traffic to keep them from coming up on top of this individual uh, as far as the derangement of it. But you can see there's quite a bit of smoke coming from the right front wheel of this vehicle. Every time the police think that they have her stopped and that uh, she's going to give up, the, she then in turn tries to take off again. But it looks like the right front tire is actually crooked, you know, from the damage from the initial impact on the uh, uh, crash that she was involved with around Sparrows Point Road. As we take and work our way around the front here, you can pretty much see the amount of damage that has been done to uh, this vehicle here. So uh, right now, Adelipa Bellway uh, past, um, let's see now, we're coming up on Cove Road. Cove Road will be the next major intersection as we get down here. But uh, county police or more or less in a standby and wait mode. They're not being aggressive. They're just trying to keep traffic on the Beltway shut down until they're able to bring this to a conclusion. Now, as you can see, it looks like things are starting to wind down here just a tad as she pulls up from the back of this one police car here. And they have yet to uh, try to uh, make any type of an approachment to the car. They just tried there to, to stop her, and she just went around uh, the uh, police vehicle that was on the uh, slow shoulder of the beltway here. So this is actually happening. You know, hopefully county police will be able to get this under control and open up the beltway again. But for right now, outer loop of the beltway shut down near Sparrows Point Road, North Point Boulevard area, due to this incident where this pickup truck that you see here on the screen was involved in a crash, from what we understand, ended up crashing into three other vehicles. And then when police tried to stop her and uh, take her into custody or get questioning her as far as the accident, she in turn took off, went all around the Sparrows Point area, went around the Amazon warehouse that's down there at Sparrows Point, and then ended up getting back on the outer loop of the Beltway. And this is where we're sitting right now. It would be outer loop just prior to Cove Road is where things are pretty much at a uh, Mexican standoff. They don't want to try and do any real aggressive actions because they don't know if she's armed 
or what type of demeanor that she has right now. But like I said, she's been gesturing to police right and left as far as explicit comments as to her trying to leave the area. The hopes again is that the pickup truck becomes so disabled from the damage that uh, the police are gonna be able to uh, take her into custody and get her some type of treatment or medical help or uh, mental help. So we're still monitoring this uh, crash here. Do you have any uh, questions here at the uh, station? Well, yeah, Roy, and forgive me if you, you've said this earlier. Were any other call cars involved, pedestrians, at the beginning of this thing? Three cars were involved in the crash. She was involved, from what I understand, crashing into three other cars, and that's what got the police attention. Hmm. As they tried to approach her, she then took off. They were able to get her stopped uh, around the Sparrows Point area, and right when they thought they had her stopped, uh, she ended up taking off again driving around Sparrows Point, uh, working her way around North Point Boulevard, then was able to get back up on the Beltway, and this is the outer loop. And now you can see how she's become aggressive mm -hmm. towards law enforcement. <laughs> They're trying to keep her, like I said, from getting into the inner loop or trying to drive head on into oncoming traffic because uh, her derangement right now is such that uh, they want to make sure that other civilians are not injured from her demeanor. But as you can see, She's just pretty much going back and forth, back and forth, you know, and as police try to coach her into uh, calming the situation down, she in turn is just literally becoming extremely aggressive. And unless the uh, pickup truck becomes so disabled that uh, it can't move anymore, then, uh, you know, this is going to be just an extremely slow moving, you know, following, pursuit, however you want to call it. Yeah, well, In fact, I've just noticed the police have actually blocked off the ramps at Cove Road <coughs> to keep anybody from getting on the outer loop of the Beltway because they are concerned that she may end up doing damage to their vehicles as well. Mm. Yeah, is so there police are trying to... Go ahead. I'm sorry, no, is there a reason they're not getting in front of her to kind of cut her off? I mean, you would think... Well, was... there, there's no real safe way for them to do that. I mean, if they got in front of her the way she's been, every time they've tried that, she's like been very aggressive trying to ram mm. them. I mean, look right there yeah. uh, as she tries to ram that one marked unit that's on the shoulder of the road. Yeah. You know, so obviously there's some type of derangement that is happening uh, in reference to this. We don't know alcohol related. We don't know drug related, or, or if she just pretty much has, has lost it or has some type of, as you can see there, she just kind of gestured again to the right. police. So. Uh, I mean, I don't know how long this is going to go on, but right. we're past Cove Road now, uh, working our way up towards where North Point Boulevard and the uh, Beltway meet. And I'm sure police are going to be blocking off the outer loop in that area here uh, very shortly here. And I was because just going to make sure. Good. I was just going to jump in there, Roy, just, just so people who are actually just joining us, so we can give people some perspective. Where exactly would you expect the the beltway to be shut down at this point if you're getting in your car and heading to go somewhere? And then, of course, what's going on in front of all of this right now? Well, if you were coming from North Point Boulevard to get on the beltway outer loop in the Dundalk, Essex area, that is where you're probably going to see the police trying to shut that down and also shut the ramp down going over to Eastern Avenue uh, because they want to keep her contained to this portion of the beltway. They don't want her getting into the neighborhoods and possibly running into uh, innocent pedestrians. Mm -hmm. You know, she obviously does not care mm -hmm. as to far as what's going down. She's crashed in, like I said, three other vehicles that were not involved with the police. And that's what I said brought the police to their attention. And when they tried to stop her, that's when she started doing, you know, as you see here right now, what was going on. Right. So, oh, well, we know uh, you have a you have a background in law enforcement, and I guess there's no way to know exactly what their strategy is at this moment. I mean, we got to believe this is going. This is gonna. There's no place for her to go. This is gonna end yeah. at some point. No, but sure. the strategy at this point, as Ashley's asking, you know, get in front of the driver. But I mean, they want to get stop sticks down at some point, right? I mean, they're trying to get well, ahead the of her. The vehicle's already been d disabled to the extent well, that, you know, the right front wheel is gone. You know, and we saw a lot of smoke coming up there from the right front wheel. Yeah. And uh, they, you know, the state police have the uh, authority to take and do a roving roadblock, so to speak, 
in front of the vehicle. But the county police, you know, they have to operate under a different set of guidelines. So that's why you see uh, the way the county is handling it right now. And it looks like she's trying to get off on the, I guess that's Eastern Avenue? Or is that, uh, yeah, North Point. She's trying to get off on North Point Boulevard right now. So that's where this is. It's going to be opening up the Beltway, and it's going to be, she's getting off on North Point Boulevard as we speak right now. And so picking up speed. The yeah, Beltway will be opening up here very quickly. Well, that's but, good news uh, as, we, as we head but, to the rush hour. Yeah, but the issue here now is uh, there's a lot of civilian traffic that's coming off of North Point Boulevard mm. to uh, either get on the Beltway or to, you know, uh, merge over here. Uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what she's going to do. As you can see, police are trying to protect yeah. innocent civilians that are coming by. In fact, there's a tractor trailer that's a tanker that's working his way up here, and he has no clue what's going on. He has just been stopped by police to make sure that he doesn't get involved. Mm. But it appears that uh, this individual is actually committed now to get off the Beltway onto North Point Boulevard uh, mm. in the westbound direction. So we're still monitoring it, and like I said, it's a interesting situation at best, but uh, we just don't know how this is going to, you know, terminate. So uh, again, viewers beware. We're doing the best we can to monitor not in case something really strange happens that, uh, you know, would cause you to be concerned. But this is live television coming to you live from Sky Team 11 right now. Bo is in the process of working the camera here to give you these shots. And we just don't have an idea how this is going to terminate. She's driving like about five mile an hour, 10 mile an hour on North Point Boulevard right now. So, uh, Captain Roy, place a block, go ahead. You, know, you, you always see in like TV shows, movies, they do the, the police do this thing called a pit maneuver, you know, where they get on the back end of their, their trunk bed or and try to spin them around. Is that something law enforcement can do here? Well, if you're authorized to do so, like the RAT Squad, the Regional Auto Theft Task Force, they're authorized. Mm -hmm. State police are authorized. County police are not authorized to do a pit. Got it. They have set up stop six from what they're telling me right now. And uh, they're trying to take and keep uh, vehicles from coming on to uh, North Point Boulevard. And uh, like I said, this is a crazy situation at best here oh. where police are trying to uh, keep the civilians safe. They have no idea what's going on. They don't know what's going on with this individual. And we're coming up to uh, East Point Shopping Center is the area that we're coming up to right now. So uh, police have blocked off traffic coming off of East Point Shopping Center to get on to North Point Boulevard. Oh, Captain uh, Roy, I know that we are, we are staying with this at least uh, for, for now just to see how this unfolds but maybe we could just back up tell us how long this has been going on at what at what time did the initial crash happen hold on oh, a second they just yeah. hit hit it with stop sticks oh good okay you know that's what was going on there yeah. uh this has been going on for about uh 20 minutes now i guess uh in fact it looks like they punctured another car you can see yeah, smoke see coming it. from the pickup truck you know so they had a successful deployment of stop sticks but now the problem is there's a school bus oh. that has stopped in the middle of North Point Boulevard up here. And I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Hmm. Uh, but there's a school bus that has stopped right over top of Eastern Avenue on North Point Boulevard. And I don't know if the bus driver of the school bus is going to do something as far as try and block it. But oh. if you notice, yeah, I mean, Hopefully obviously not. going around the school bus. Yeah, right. It's kind of I mean, considering the condition that that right front passenger yeah, tire. Yeah, the was right in. front tire, the right rear tire, they're both flat right now. So they have deployed stop sticks to uh, try and get her straight down. It looks like the school bus might be broken down. Ah. And that's why that school bus was there. Mm -hmm. But uh, we've passed the school bus, we've passed East Point Shopping Center. We're working our way all the way down here. Uh, um, towards, I guess, it would be, uh, it would be past Eastern Avenue. It's gonna be down here by uh, Rolling Mill Road, 
rolling, yeah, rolling mill road is where we're getting ready to come up to right now. Maybe it's this me. I'm just the surprised old, uh, this truck is going as fast yeah. as it's going I mean, right it's now. It's like tilting. Considering on the, the right condition that it's side. in. I mean, that tire is just non-existent at this point. It's on the wheel. Yeah, this has been crazy. I mean, uh, and uh, right now she's coming up to Kane. Kane is where we're coming up here too short. And uh, they're going to try and notify Baltimore City to get involved with this. But we're going to monitor the vehicle here because she has just literally, um, yeah, right now the uh, county police have pretty much pulled off as far as trying to follow this vehicle. We're going to stay with it in case oh. she decides oh, to bail yeah. somewhere. Yeah. But uh, this is still North Point here. Boulevard as we're getting ready to go under I-95. Right. So, um, you know, we just don't know exactly, you know, uh, where in the city that this is going to tie it up. But they're notifying Baltimore City right now. Uh, county police have pretty much pulled off of it. They're not involved in it at all. Uh, right now, city police helicopter Foxtrot nors the county police helicopter up to assist with the uh, uh, situation here. North Point Boulevard coming up on Quad Avenue is where we're at. And Roy, and I, it may have missed, I may have missed it, but didn't, didn't you say at some point that they it did look like they got some sticks down? They did get cop sticks down. They, that punctured the right rear tire. The stop sticks punctured the right rear. And that car, the that front le going. right tire has been destroyed. And is, the vehicle is westbound North Point coming up on Quad Avenue. But there are no longer any police cars behind this car. Uh, none whatsoever. She's the county police, since it's gone into the city, have pretty much, you know, called everything off. They've opened up the roadways in the county. The beltway's back open again. Uh, but this is obviously a unique situation on this deranged individual. Yeah, and we'll and the see. The only one. Go ahead. Will city police cruisers come up on uh, on this truck now and kind of take over? Will they just continue to use Foxtrot or, or what they happens are, now? They are being notified. The helicopters aren't up right now. City police helicopters aren't up. County police helicopters aren't up. The only air support that they have right now is us. Now, city police unit just noticed the car uh, as he was driving on uh, North Point Boulevard. Mm. And uh, I don't know if he's going to turn around here or, or not. But we're still kind of keeping an eye on her and see where she goes and what she does. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of damage done to this pickup truck. I mean, a tremendous amount of damage that has been done to it from the initial crash and then from the, uh, uh, you yeah, know, the stop sticks. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, the victims on the original crash that this vehicle was involved with, they have requested medical attention mm -hmm. for those oh, individuals. Wow. So I, I just don't know how serious that crash was. Yeah. But as we sp talk right now, we're coming up... Uh, it would be uh, North Point Boulevard coming up towards uh, Pulaski Highway. We'll be going over top of Pulaski Highway. Oh, no, she made a right turn heading towards Pulaski Highway. Yep, she's actually going over top of the Harbor Tunnel Thruway right now and headed up towards Pulaski Highway um, and getting ready to pull into a parking lot. Interesting. Uh, which is, uh, hold oh. on a second. Gonna get out. Uh, Gotta wonder what she thinks is already. Yeah. yeah, right there at the Gold Club at Pulaski Highway, and I'm trying to get the cross street on that. Uh, which there she goes. She's sitting up. She's getting out of the vehicle, walking out of the vehicle, walking in towards Pulaski Highway right now. So we're going to kind of drop down and oh my keep an eye on her street. and see where she goes and what she does. It looks like she's trying to get picked up. For somebody else to take her. Mm. Um, so this is the individual right now that we're over top of, and she's uh, bailing out of the pickup truck, pretty much walking onto Pulaski Highway, coming up to a tire store right now, and those those getting ready officers. to try and. I bet you she's going to try and steal another car here or something, but she's just working her way on foot. Oh, yeah. She's down. Yeah, she just tripped on her own there, but uh, she would be right at the uh, new and used tires. It's uh, right near the Gold Club, uh, Pulaski Highway, 
And she's got to be intoxicated or, mm -hmm. or something. She's walking out here in front of vehicles yes. and cars here on Pulaski Highway. Um, she's trying to take... We can't tell from this vantage point. Where, where yeah, are the closest police officers to this well, location? Well, there aren't any around right now. They haven't. I haven't been able to pick up on the city side of it right now. Uh, but she's working her way over to a 7-Eleven, which is across from the Gold Club here. And she's just walking. I mean, she didn't seem to be in a hurry at all. I mean, she must see you up there, Roy. Oh, she sees us. <laughs> uh, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But it looks like she's getting ready to go into the 7-Eleven here. And let me get around here the other side. And nope, she did not go into the 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. She's walking to the parking lot over here towards, uh, uh, let's see now, uh, Evans Way, Hewitt Way uh, is, is where we're at. Fowler Way, which is in the city. And I don't, can't tell exactly what she's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain Roy, just explain, because I don't think um, I'm the only one who would have this question. People watching are going to be wondering, wh why is it taking so long for police officers to get close to where she is? Just kind of explain uh, that I to us I have no again. clue. I don't okay. have the means of communicating with the uh, city police or the county police. I mean, when their helicopters are up, then I can talk to them direct mm -hmm. one-on-one. -on -one. But we don't have any means of communicating here from the helicopter to anybody unless I were to call 911. And... Mm -hmm. That's almost like a nightmare because cell phones, sometimes they work. Oh, I do see one city police officer here now okay, on good. Pulaski oh, Highway. She fell down again. And she's, yeah, she's over here at an encampment, a homeless encampment right now. And oh, let's see here. Took a, took it looks like she's trying to hide. She's trying yeah. to hide in a tent, in a tarp, a green tarp or tent. Yeah. at a homeless encampment that's right over here. And I've got one guy walking up to her right now. Yep, I've got two walking up to her right now. Mm. Those are those are police officers, correct? Yeah, okay. they look like they're police. Yeah, they've got her. I think those are unmarked units that have uh, worked their way here. Yeah, that's city police that I see here now. Okay. And the city police officers actually have this individual in custody. So everything is pretty much at a conclusion here for this weird type of pursuit, chase, crash, however you want to take and call it. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, it's Fowler, I think it's Fowler Way right near Pulaski Highway. But the, uh, yeah, they, they do actually have her in custody. Two city officers have her. And uh, they're taking her uh, into custody right now. So I'm gathering she's going to have to have some type of medical treatment one way or the other. Mm -hmm. As you could see, just the way her demeanor was walking uh, across Pulaski Highway to get to this homeless uh, encounter. And I see it looks like uh, some individuals have come up to where the pickup truck where they bailed out of. And they're notifying law enforcement now as to the whereabouts of that pickup truck over here by the Gold Club. So it has come to a conclusion okay. here from Sky Team 11. Um, you know, we're going to send it back to you at the studio.